Peyton Manning is on the road to Canton and the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But tonight here in Louisiana and next week in Tennessee, he will be honored by state halls that have watched his talent firsthand. Older brother Cooper knows all too well about this ultra successful and driven quarterback. Well, Peyton and I were only two years apart, so when you're two years apart growing up, you compete a lot. So we, we battled pretty hard. A lot, of, a lot of competitive basketball games to see who had to take out the trash, a lot of wrestling. My parents broke up a lot of fights, but we loved each other. But it was that two years was kind of a perfect age group where you're always, you can't quite let him win because he's good enough to where it deserves a battle and we uh we had fun competing against each other newman high in new orleans was where the manning boys attended school and flourished under longtime legendary coach tony reginelli work ethics family values all those things goes in he's going to work extra and i tell you he's prepared for every practice every game then it was on to tennessee where under philip fulmer Manning threw for more than 11,000 yards and 89 scores. One of the things as a coach that uh, I always appreciated most about Peyton is, is you, you learn as a freshman and sophomore and, and as when you get to the place where you're really established and he was, uh, it's best, our best teams have been when you can coach your best players the hardest and expect the most from the best and Peyton carried that. He, he wanted to be coached hard. He wanted to be um, to be uh, coached and, and, and corrected. And what happened with that is not only did it help him perform and be the player that he was, but just as important that freshman, sophomore that's watching him and watching the interaction of him taking coaching and responding to coaching uh, made them feel like I want to be like him, therefore I want to be coached too. Manning had one of the greatest careers in NFL history. Thanks to his determination to outwork opponents and extreme passion for the game, it led him to be the NFL's number one draft pick, a five-time MVP, make 14 Pro Bowl appearances, earn AFC Offensive Player of the Year honors eight times and win two Super Bowls. It was his belief in his ability that allowed him to return from a career-threatening neck injury after 14 years with the Colts to play four more years for the Broncos. Congrats, buddy. Obviously, a uh, well-deserved honor. Um, you know, you, you're, you've done a lot of great things on the football field, a lot of accomplishments, but um, you're better person off the field than you were on the football field. So congratulations, buddy, um, and have a great night. Uh, one, one more thing here, one more thing here. You know that I got in last year, right? And you got in this year. So actually, I beat you. Um, I'm the first, you're the second. So um, I don't know if I've ever beat you in anything. So this feels good, and I'm going to cherish it. And I'm going to remind you of this every time I see you. Congrats, buddy. I think what Peyton did more than anything is he held his teammates accountable. So therefore, you felt like you had to do a little extra, a little extra work because you knew he was doing far more than you were and you had to kind of step up your game or he was going to call you out on it. And he, had, I, think they, I think they respected Peyton for that. And um, people rose to the occasion and they wanted to be better because he wanted them to be better. And uh, now it's uh, his time to bask in the glory. So proud of you, bro.